Welcome back. Thanks to you guys. You guys sent in a whole bunch of questions and we have a lot of answers. But we have our little uh, MC back here. She's going to give us the questions and then we have the answers. So she gets to choose the order. She's just going to read them straight to us and we'll try to answer them. I have them both in comments and in DMs over on Instagram. So if we don't know your name from some of the, some of the comments, I don't know like your name. I think I do, but I don't want to get it wrong. Okay, go ahead, Ash. What's the first question you want to ask us? Chelsea um, seems like an obedient child as far as doing chores. Is it true? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Wow. Okay. Yeah. She does a great job. She's really on top of it. She puts her effort into mm -hmm. it. Doesn't have to be asked too many times to do it. So she's yeah. She's, she's very good. diligent in doing her chores, and she likes her room clean. Someone not like me. Doesn't. <laughs> not like me. She. This one has to be asked about a hundred times. She's a squirrel. You can tell where she's been because yeah. she just leaves mm -hmm. stuff everywhere. Yes. So you are very accurate in that Chelsea good, good is observation. an obedient child. She is. Okay, next question. What are her favorite classes at school? Oh, Chelsea's? Yeah. Who's asking all these yeah, questions? Yeah, this Lydia. one? Lydia is asking these questions. Art? Art. Art 100%. Related, art related stuff she really likes. Yeah. She's, she's, Quite talented. We try to show some of her stuff because yeah. you know our parents always like what their kids do. Well, her book is but right behind she, you. Then there's like, wow. If, even if this wasn't my kid, I'd be like, this yeah. is good. So this is what she those was are eyes. On. Those are she eyes of certain Slayer. characters. Yeah. So she was kept, you know, kind of practicing eyes. And there's one. She draws lots of characters. This random character. She has mushrooms. Well, here that showed like how she kind of does it. This is um, a diagram, and Ashley can go and grab it really quick. She this made. is a yes. diagram of a 3D design she had to do for her 3D art class, but she always draws it first, and then um, kind of comes up with her and idea. She, she loves art, but she's yeah. also, she just likes school in general. Just she's like, she likes to learn. Ashley looks like she's really enjoying cheer. Do you think she will do it in the future? What well, she think? can answer that question. Yes. yes. How, how long do you want to do cheer? Don't really school probably. Oh, you're lying. You said well, high, yeah, probably high, high school. school yeah. yeah. She I mean, wants just you do it. It depends no on like what I. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Right now, I think high school, but I don't. Yeah. Think. Just yeah. enjoy it. Become good at it, and you know, pursue it. Yeah. She's having a fun time. Oh, oh. Here's that it's diagram. Oh. Here's the diagram she made. Set it down. You can see like the three dimensional. Do I have that? There? It's yeah. all. All the little pieces are cardboard. And, and she, then she, she made. Yeah, and hot glue, and it's hard to like show you like the dimension of it. This is from Lydia. <laughs> Did you hear the first question, Chelsea? Is Chelsea really an obedient child, and does she always do her chores without being asked? What? Yeah. Sure. She's like shaking her head. Yes, <laughs> yes, I do. From Lydia, how is she doing trying new food? Trying oh, Ashley. Food. Yeah. Oh. Is, well, you're trying some new things. What do you think? I'm eating the same stuff, but I'm still trying new food. I'm just not anymore. I'm not anymore trying any more food. Yeah, I just found, I found food that the, I like, and then I stopped trying to find some. Well, and you can always find new food yep. at any time. Yeah. Anytime. Does Jason have any hobbies? <laughs> Who's that? Um, lots of stitches. Yeah. Lots of stitches. Yeah. Uh, I Kate. do have hobbies. Although I spend most of my time trying to help take care of the family. But uh, I enjoy hiking, climbing, uh, more like mountaineering. Rock climbing is kind of fun, but I'm not good at it. But mountaineering, ice axe type of stuff, hiking. Is what I really enjoy doing. We did a video of where I went last, my overnighter. Mm -hmm. I'd like to do another one, but the seasons are changing and I've got to you know, find time. But Anything outside. Yeah, I love the outdoors and stuff like that. So. This is from the same person. What are the girls' favorite hobbies? Okay. Well, there's four of them. So Ashley, your, what are your hobbies? Do you want to tell us? Cheering. Cheering. Yeah. She also likes moon sand. Yeah. She likes the aesthetic pleasing ASMR. She likes the moving, moving in, of the molds and the, and the sand. Stuff. And Chelsea, obviously art and friends. She's very social. And soccer. Um, yeah. Abby is, she's into design. Baking. 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 Yes. She, loves, she loves to design things. She loves to be organized. Her her form of art, she's, she used to craft with me and stuff when she was younger. So her form of art is she designs like like phone cases or she does her own nail art she'll like um she has like contraptions that she builds herself to put the nails on and then she'll paint them and then she'll attach the nails yeah. to her hands she also has apps that does interior designing things she likes to yeah do. and she's super good at math and stuff yeah. like that yeah she's in a couple advanced classes in school and she'll start yeah. running start next year to do advanced um college courses in high school and she'll graduate from high school with her aa in college kaylee enjoys friends she's very yes. social 
actual dog. Uh, dog. She, oh, she loves animals. Any animal. She has this ability with animals that you know just so few people yeah. have. We'll run into complete strangers in Hawaii, and she'll talk to you know pet the dog and like be interacting with it. And the owners will be like, "They, our dog doesn't like strangers. This is so strange. I don't understand." Mm -hmm. You know, she just has a knack with them. She wants to find goats. She wants to find you know deer yeah. on the side of the road. If anyone's goats. gonna have an animal eat out of their hand, sort of type of thing. My yeah. sister was that way too. Yeah. Or is that way? But yeah. She loves her boyfriend. She loves to spend time with her friends. They love. She loves being social. Yeah, she loves to be doing stuff, going places, that kind of stuff. Yeah. Next question. Where did you meet Jason, and was he your first love? He was my first, but I was not his. <laughs> we met at uh, school, college. Yep. Utah State. We have a whole University. video about how we met, but we'll give you a condensed version. I. We both had a mutual friend who wanted to hook all of his friends up on little you just know, blind dates. Just have get together with a bunch of. He was married, uh, so he had a lot of single friends who so wanted to get them all together. So you know, maybe they could find a find little somebody match. Um, what there were like twelve guys and me and her. And, uh, the and other that's ones. it. Other I was the only didn't show up, and obviously out of twelve guys, like it's no contest. I win. <laughs> no, you were just the only one who actually spoke to me. What? And, and no. didn't maul me with back rubs. It's a whole no. story. Okay. You know, it took a few dates, and he he got the courage. Four to... years. No, 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 no. Maybe. But like, I wasn't smitten right off the bat. It just was fun to have no, a boyfriend. It was, just like, oh, it was okay, my first. Cool. Well, like you know. Um... I hadn't dated anyone. I liked someone in high school, but I just remember we went yeah. on our first date or whatever, and then like three days later, you're like knocking on my door. Uh, after our first date? Yeah, he didn't <laughs> understand that. Like, I just. I don't know. I was very like, forward. Oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? Like, what are we gonna go out again? Da, 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 whatever. I think I was I'm very like, forward. Uh, I guess so. I hadn't thought about yeah. it. Sure, we can go again. He's very lucky that we actually got married because I was more forward, forward thinking. And you know, it was four years. But we dated for four and a half years, on and off. We broke well, we up. We dated for four years, and then we got engaged for yeah, six months. months. Yeah, you know, it's like a fine wine. Every, every six times. <laughs> I'm the fine wine. Yeah, you had to like wait for me to be ready. We broke up every summer because he couldn't handle commitment. Not necessarily. And then, no. okay, next question. Our last summer, he realized when I moved away from my college, college. town that, oh, crud, I'm gonna lose her. And then that's when he got his act together and proposed. And next got question. Married. Next question. What will family vacations look like once kids are in college? What will they look like? You mean when there's no kids here? Yeah, like everyone's. I hope to go to Europe more. I hope. Well, I'd love to travel. Like I personally, if I ever can retire, I just want to like hike and climb. Yeah, anywhere. Yeah, well then we'll be free to like. I was like, okay, I want to go to the Tetons. So hopefully, I find some people that will be free and do that. Yeah. I would just go. Okay, let's do the Tetons. Okay, let's go. I think it's one of the other questions. You want to go to New? We both want to go to New Zealand or. I'd love to climb Mount Cook. Yeah, New Zealand. Okay, sorry, our memory card was too full. I'm running out of memory cards that actually work. <laughs> so, so, yeah. Found one. But I, yeah, I want to climb yeah. to New Zealand. If New Zealand wants to sponsor. So he's only talking about what he wants to do. Well, uh, you could come along. Exactly. <laughs> well, no, I mean, we, we could go to dinner afterwards. <laughs> Just much. We do want to travel together. He's being very selfish right now. You know, it's the kids to get married, and I guess if they have kids and stuff, they would want to visit them. And yeah, I don't want to be them. gone and not available to our kids. I don't know where they're going to end up, but I want to be available to be near them if they start having kids. I want to be the grandma that is able to go and stay with my dad. We have four daughters, so I'm. I want to be the one that goes to stay with them and helps them when they have a newborn baby coming home. And or they want to go on a trip to Hawaii that we don't pay for. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And I can help watch kids. I want to be able to do that so I don't, I don't want to completely like be gone for six months at a time and and not be around for my kids when they have kids though. yeah but we gotta figure out how to retire anyway so yeah, next question next question we're a long way away from is you know. Abby getting some pain relief with her incubation cupping oh yeah good question Who I think yeah, so she is. Lydia yeah, uh, yeah. It seems I think to so be it's not making it go away but I think it gives her weekly relief for sure mm -hmm. she I mean maybe she, she doesn't complain about it but the back pain is still there she is, all this stuff has allowed her to be more herself. So I think it's worked well. Yeah. And she's in yoga in high school, like in her PE class is yoga and her teacher understands her situation. And so I think part of yoga is strengthening her back as Stretching, well. Stretching, strengthening. Yep. Okay, next question. Next one, Ash. Is she looking forward to getting braces? Abby definitely. is definitely looking forward to getting braces. Uh, we have an appointment that to start that process coming up here in a couple weeks, but we are still pending insurance. Yeah, she's, yeah, she's, she's looking she's forward to it. it. It's the start of the process, in case you are new, uh, it's the start of the process of getting jaw surgery. So six months of wearing her braces 
will then turn to an appointment for surgery next summer, which is going to alleviate all the job pressure that she currently has to endure. I know you love Hawaii, but what are some other places you'd like to travel to? Hawaii. <laughs> Who is that from? Who's that from? Yeah, Kauai. <laughs> Who, Lydia, of course, Lydia, Lydia would ask me so that. So it is good, but- I'm like, sorry, that question was me. <laughs> oh, so why is that both of us? Because you already said where you want to go. <laughs> okay. No, who's going along with whom on trips here? Exactly, I don't... I, So maybe the first half, I, I just come along with you, but then later in life, you just come along with me, is that how? <laughs> I mean, ultimately. Whatever, answer the question. So, yes, she's fixated on Hawaii. But the alternatives are, I mean, Mexico, we're not really, I don't no. know, the, the risks and stuff there. We're not about just sitting on resorts, and no. Mexico's not safe enough to just get off resorts. I know some people might feel different. Um, we're definitely not taking the kids there. Getting to Florida is a possibility. We could look at Florida. I'm not opposed to the Florida, East Coast. Florida. It's just really expensive for us to get to the East Coast. I really want to go to the East Coast. I actually was going to surprise him with like an anniversary trip to the East Coast. This year, I wanted to go and see our friends Lydia and Nick that we met in Hawaii. And my brother lives 20 minutes away from them, and they're two or three hours away from the coast. And I wanted to go out beautiful. to the North Carolina, South Carolina coast. I would love to be out there and go and visit that area. It's just so expensive for us to get from coast to coast. It's not as possible. And we, I mean, definitely we talked about like the Caribbean or I mean islands yeah. like that, but it's. But again, it's like so far away. Yeah. People who live in Florida or along the East Coast, it's a lot easier for you to get to Florida, which is why it's so easy for us to get to Hawaii. It's like a five-hour yeah. flight to Hawaii. You can go to Mexico, Southern California, Hawaii on the West Coast. I do have other places that I want to go. We're in a travel just... rut. We're in a travel rut, enjoying it. I want to go back to Ireland. Mm, that'd be cool. We're starting to be good explorers when we went to Ireland the first time. We went to Italy on our honeymoon. That would have been fun if we could have videoed all that. Yeah, but it was also like we weren't comfortable renting a car when we went to those places and now we're so comfortable like exploring and having a car that I want to go back to Ireland and explore the countryside the country more, yeah. and explore the coast more and just kind of be out on our own more and not reliant on like city Oh, buses. we just took the trains and stuff. Yeah. But anyways, yes, we, we need to maybe look at other places. It's just, you know. Money and time. What does Kaylee plan on doing after she graduates. Did she ever ha get a job? <laughs> no. So those are two things. One, she's and that's probably Lydia. She's yeah, in yeah. school. <laughs> she's in school now. She had a job, then quit the job, and then is applying she for new ones. Gotten, yeah, and then now she hurt her leg, so if she has to have surgery, she can't get a job for a while. <laughs> so she's gonna obviously finish her senior year, probably go to uh, community college here, and then transfer to another school in Washington, probably. Yeah. I mean, that's the game plan right now, but we're not 100% sure. Yeah, she wants to go to college. Where that is, is time will tell. We need to start looking into scholarships and grants and all that kind of stuff to help pay for that. Because outside of community college here in Washington, those schools here are very all expensive. All the schools are really expensive. I know you typically don't swear, but do you ever say the F word? Dad! <laughs> Who said no? <laughs> this is not me Who said that? Who asked that? KM781. It is more. Oh. If you don't out loud, do you secretly say it in your head? <laughs> Does it? Jason realize you. Oh, no, 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 no. Do that part next. Do that. I've read that question. Do that part next. Because okay. that's a different question. So, well, the first question is do we swear? He Hell does. Yeah. That does. Yes, does. Sure. Shut. He said that for like four times in one sentence, like a long we, time ago. We, well, tried, that was making a long time ago. we tried making a money jar, but no, no, no. Yeah, yeah. he would be it was like thousands of dollars. Okay. I mean, occasionally we're angry or something. Oh, else. it's, it's not even sorry. anger. No, it's whatever. He swears more than he should. I'm gonna say that I, I get mad at him <laughs> for his example. Uh, it's not. I don't like. I don't like that he swears. And yes, he uses the F word, uh, and I hate it. Chelsea. Oh my gosh, she's <laughs> down here on the floor. And she does it on so purpose. Anyways, he's swearing, so he does. Happen. If I hurt myself, if I'm like beyond blowing my gasket mad, I will cuss. I think I've said the F word twice in my life. But yes, I say it in my mind when when he, he's like this. I'm like. Uh. I she don't like language. What's the second part of this? Does Jason realize even if you're wrong, Danny, you're always right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's not um, to come off rude, but you definitely like to be right. <laughs> well, I like to be right. We both like to be right. That is very true. But I'm often more right than he is. <laughs> well, I, well, he goes silent. He no. goes silent when he knows I'm right, but he will not admit it. 
<laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Rhyming sample. So, <laughs> Rhyming yeah. sample. We, we, are, we are both independent thinkers yes. and often will discuss our viewpoints openly and sometimes that comes across as we feel like we have to always be right. But I honestly, I'm open to ideas. I just uh, grew up in a family where we have to state things certain ways, mm -hmm. which comes across very direct, which for most people means like I'm saying it as if this is absolute and I'm not taking any other opinions. usually that is the case. No. <laughs> uh, but I'm open to stuff. But one might interpret as you have interpreted. Yes. <laughs> okay, next. Next question. What made you want to start a YouTube channel? I had always loved, it was back when I did a lot more crafting, which is where all this stuff came from here in my office. I love to craft. And every time I made something and shared it like on Facebook or Instagram, everyone was like, how did you make that? I wanna know how you made that. And so I, as I started to make things going forward, I would take pictures or I would, you know, like the process. And then I had a blog at one point and I didn't like typing and writing and pictures. I didn't like any of that. And I was like, there's gotta be another way to like, be able to like show this. And to and so, kind of like showing what we do. We started with the cleaning thing. Well, I started, no, I started with the craft stuff. I started the channel not understanding YouTube, but then when I realized you can make money doing it, then I that kind of morphed and I have a whole story about all of that kind of stuff. But yeah, I started YouTube with crafting and showing how to make things, which I had a strong passion for. And then it morphed to cleaning and then morphed to our family videos, which is more natural and more organic. But I didn't ever like think, oh, I want to be a YouTuber. I just wanted to be able to share my crafting talents and be able to share how I made things because I was always it, being asked it to like... It morphed. It kind of evolved as we understood how it went. Yeah. And then we wanted to record. We saw how fun it is to record our our history, our moments, and yeah. it kind of became more of that. Yeah. yeah. It started out with like filming our daily life started out with vacations because we always wanted to remember our vacations, whether it was like summer vacations to go see my family, go to the beach, go to the lake or whatever. And then obviously like Hawaii yeah, trips and stuff. So then that made us more comfortable to film our daily life. I didn't like turn on YouTube be like, I'm going to do YouTube. It was just, it just kind of evolved. Okay. What type of music do you all listen to? I don't mind listening to music. I, I like country music. I like Hawaiian music. I listen to that at night to like calm myself down. But I, I also don't mind like today's hits. Like I, I just turn on Pandora, today's hits. But I don't like specifically choose certain artists. I like Taylor Swift, but I don't like turn on one set, you know, artist and only listen to them. Our it's favorite just, group is YouTube because yeah. we've gone to their concerts and yeah. in fact that's why I went to Ireland. But you're different. He likes harder stuff. I listen to like you know Pandora and stuff, and I'll pick a channel and then they curate your stuff. Mm -hmm. So I mean, but I've been mainly listening to like uh, to and from work. There's like M83. <laughs> Or... I get in the car, I'm like, are we 80? No, it's not, it's not he's freaking like, that. He's like elevator tunes. No, going it's on not in... elevator tunes. Can we just not... I can't, you can't, you can't, you can't show it. You can't do it here. What would be yours and Jason's superpower if you could have one? Oh, fun question. Well, that's fun. Who asked that? Uh, Okay. Oh, cool. All right. Our superpower. Do we say we can only have one? It's not like what superhero we get to be? Superpowers. Well, being a huge like Avenger, yeah. you know, all that type of, you know, fan. I thought about this. Uh, I'm sure because you Because there's practical, you know, there's like shooting laser beams or something, you know, or knives out of your hands. But like, I don't know, unless you're a chef, what good are hand, you know, knives going to do? Or like laser beams and stuff. They're just not practical. So I'm thinking like, how could you make money with your, your, your power? I mean, and so I mean, Superman is by far the best because you know then you could get packages delivered really fast because you could just zip across the country. He's just thinking about how to make money. Well I'm just thinking what would be practical you know mind reading would be good but then it'd be annoying to read most people's minds. <laughs> I mean what is yours? I'll think more about mine. I, I don't really. I don't know what my I don't even snap my fingers and make the house clean. I don't know. I don't really care to have a superpower I guess. No. I mean I snap my fingers and I have weight loss. I don't know. I don't. Superpower. But like would you want to like be able to fly? So I don't I don't have a, I don't have. She doesn't watch those types of shows as much. I no, I have watched every single Marvel movie. You can't even like tell me that I have. I have watched every single one of the, with them with you in the theater. I I watch yeah, and okay. all those <laughs> movies. I just don't want to watch them ten more times. Okay. He will watch them ten okay. more times. I promise yeah. you. Hopefully we answered that question. That's a great fun question. Yeah. What was your 
was the first you did. The, the superpower. Power. Yeah. Um, for your viewers, do you have any questions for us? I like this. Questions for viewers. What's your, what is your superpower? Um, yeah, that'd be cool yeah. What questions below. could we give to them? Not necessarily these same questions, but like, like what kind well, of content what, would you like to see from us? Well, the other thing is, what is it about the channel that you find interesting? Yeah, because that will help us to know. Okay, maybe we should stop filming this section of our, our day well, and edit, keep going. Edit a little thing. Something so, else. so it's like we want to try to just give an honest little what's going on. But yeah, maybe there's other things you want more behind the scene bloopers or you want I don't know but yeah what is it what is it do you like about the channel tell us what maybe you get tired of that'd be interesting where do you guys want to travel like if you could go anywhere if money wasn't mm, an yeah. issue where do you guys want to travel to because I'm open to like hear new ideas that's kind of fun I think it would be fun if you uh, list below just where where, you, where you're from like mm -hmm. you know I'm in either give a state obviously you don't want to give away your exact location or anything but like mm -hmm. you know I'm in Saudi Arabia or I'm in wherever that'd be fun I love knowing Knowing where you guys are from, it just yeah. helps. Like, oh, you're in Texas, you probably are de dealing with the heat. Oh, you know, you're yeah. in Oregon. Okay, welcome to the rain. You understand what I'm going through. Or it's like yeah. England, you know, the Queen's death, uh, Canada getting colder. You know, I mean, it's fun to see where you are all at. And Ashley, do you, what questions? It's a do you global think? community. This whole YouTube thing. So. Yeah, I love that part of it. Honestly, what do you? What questions do you have for them? I don't know. You don't know? Do you want to see more of Ashley? You see a lot of Ashley because the other ones are hesitant to teenagers. come on yeah. camera. We don't force them to no. be on. Kaylee is more willing this year to be on camera because she wants to document her senior year and I will slowly pull those videos, whatever they may be, and make a senior video for her at the end of the year. So she's more willing to be filmed this year than, than in the past. But we respect Abby and Chelsea for not wanting to be on all the time. If Chelsea's goofy, she will be on all the time. <laughs> so, but other times she just wants to be private and do her own thing. That's cool. So just know that we would love to bring you all of our girls. Just we're trying to respect them and it, th this isn't their thing. So I hope this was fun for you guys. If you have any more questions, you can leave them down below and we can just answer them in the comments down below yeah there's more questions, more questions? Yeah. okay really... well let me finish this someone asked if we would ever go live we could go live from here i mean it's not that exciting but maybe we could go find our house isn't that exciting but maybe we could go somewhere in town and just go live just because it was fun to like walking tour of his bar maybe we could go to like rainier or something and show them yeah we could go show them the northwest um okay let's do other questions i guess if we have other questions do you have any travel bucket list places that you want to go? Yeah, we've had kind of hit that, that one. I mean, I would like to go to New Zealand, Australia. Yeah, uh, we already touched that one. Or Europe. Next one. Yeah. What are your future plans as your kids get older? Same yeah, we kind of talked about that. about that. I mean, we're just, it's obviously, it's hard to figure out how to retire. Hopefully someday that'll be possible, but. Are you getting a pet? I, we both, we all want a cat. Or, I think we've all agreed we want a cat. We're allergic. Lots, several of us are allergic to cats, so we have to get the I right the, the right cat, which is some yeah. Siberian thing. Mm -hmm. Maybe probably. Do you consider doing any LA YouTube lives or? Oh, there's yeah, another question. Are these all from Tanya? Oh, yeah. all right. Okay. Next question. What shows or YouTube channels are you watching that you recommend? Oh, you watch a bajillion. <laughs> yes, you do. There's those boat ones you like. They're fun. They're cool. Yeah. If you, I didn't think I'd be as interested in them as I am, but I love watching families or people who are out sailing and crossing the world with their sailboats. Get shout out to like the two or three ones. Um, Parlay uh, Revival is my number one that I like to watch. Sailing, I don't remember off the top of my head. If you watch these yeah. channels, these boating channels, but then You'll, cast them to your TV, it's so cool because that was yeah. like drone shots. And I, I and usually... It's, it's beautiful. They're in feed. When I watch those channels, I tend to watch them kind of back to back in their like weekly videos or daily videos oh. or whatever. And I watch them on my TV. It's the only set of YouTube videos that I watch on my TV because their cinematography is so amazing. They just get amazing footage of the ocean and their and their boats. And I think it's so fascinating to watch that kind of stuff because they live a completely different life than we live. So that's YouTube. I love to watch that. I like to watch daily vlogs. So what's your other? What's this shot? Give a shout out to them. Well, Bonnie Holine is like, and and some of her sisters that I like. She was the reason why I started. So I like watching those vlog style, style families. And Sakoni so Jolie's there in London. And I like to see what life is like on the other side of the world. What is the one? Other side of the pond. What is the one couple that does um, the British couple that makes the sausages?
the trolls. Oh. They're hilarious. They're funny. They do more TikTok than yeah. TikTok, but but then they put it on YouTube. But they've gotten like they've gotten to sing songs with Elton John. Yeah. And they've gotten the number one They're song fun. in England and sausage song or whatever. TV shows. I mean, TV shows. I watch. I save reality TV shows on the TV. I like any Housewives. I like any boating. Mm. I like Low Deck. All those um, kind of shows. But then on like What's Netflix that? and those kinds of things. I love any kind of true crime, British crime, British TV, like they, Call they, the Midwives. They, England's got some good writing. They have good the US, TV. US writing, they, so write they write it. They write different than we do here in the US. So. The only YouTube channel I click on on a regular basis is uh, Ozzy Man Reviews in Australia. That's he YouTube. has he has Ozzy Man Reviews. He's got a couple different variations. Destination F, hilarious. Um, There's the language again. Anyways, Ozzy Man yeah. Reviews is a good one. You look it up if you want a good laugh or good entertainment. Short, quick videos. Otherwise, I don't know. I kind of just flip around. I have a whole list of shows that I want to watch, but I'm as I've kind of gone through and tried to find them. Like I got, I think I even asked you guys like what shows you like. I have a whole master list, but a lot of them I have to have a subscription to like BritBox or you know other things on Amazon Prime that I don't have access to. This is a long. So this is a long answer. Okay, get to the other one. What are some of your favorite recipes? I don't cook. <laughs> I <like> cooking. <laughs> my my go to my my go to recipes because yes. I don't bake anymore. Abby bakes for me, and I don't. I, that's fine. I like to bake, but she baked for me. You bake more in the cold months of the year. Right. Cinnamon rolls. Is, is my favorite thing water. to bake now. I just can only make it a few times a year because we eat the entire pan and it's so bad for you. Um, the, my favorite meals to make are lasagna and Hawaiian chicken over rice. Well, um, the Hawaiian chicken's good. Cowboy, cowboy spaghetti used to be awesome. Cowboy spaghetti, but you, you guys don't like again. casseroles. You guys don't like things inside things. Well, the problem we run into is the kids are all super picky yes. and we've allowed them to have too much say in the food. So now it's really hard to come up with food that can... They don't understand that like make it for a pasta, like a pasta pasta like lasagna or a pasta casserole is literally the same ingredients as spaghetti. It's literally just sauce, cheese, pasta. But when you layer it, they somehow don't like watch. freak out and don't like to eat it. Chelsea doesn't like to and she doesn't like to. I do. So I, I don't like, like to lasagna. bake because they don't like to eat it. And I'm I like, do. Well, it's hard. I so like lasagna, but I, yeah, I would. I wish we would cook more. I do. We? Dude, who cooks this today already? You made waffles. I can't eat waffles. So For the family? That's all he cooked. No, I... Ravioli is not cooking. That's pulling it from... The kids food. Okay, he's full of crap. It. No, dude. He's full of crap. Go. That's it. That's it. We're done. Cut him off. He makes breakfast and pasta. Okay. You're you're full of crap. You haven't packed a lunch. Because because we taught our kids how to do it. Yes, exactly. So but you can't I'm say you packed their lunches. I'm the one that did it for years. You can't take back. I mean, yes, you can have the back credit, but it's been five years since you packed someone's lunch. Apparently, we're done. Right. Because well, this everyone is. Everyone great questions. Great questions. Yeah, a lot of this fun. is fun. Again, please leave your comments down below. Uh, we totally love hearing from you guys, learning about you. Great community. We're, we're in this with you guys like we wouldn't be doing this if you guys weren't watching So you guys are a very big part of our channel Just know that you're in our thoughts as we like film things like half the time I'm like, oh, I know this person would really like it if I added this part to the video because normally it would be like Oh, that may seem boring, but I think you guys would like it So let us know what you guys want to see and what you enjoy so that we you know to keep adding that to our videos If you get sick of like what we buy at Costco <laughs> Let us know because that's usually a big part of our Monday. <laughs> it's the only part of our Monday. So take care and we will see you guys next time. Bye. Of all the magic places in the world I've been to, this is where my heart is. Oh, you know it's true. No matter where I go, I'm coming home to you.